It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Mumbles Brewery and it's the Oyster Mouth Stout, 4.4% ABV. And the beer's been brewed with a hint of the sea with real oysters added. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, gold bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Whoa! Lots of smoke on the opening with that beer. Beer in the glass. Oh, straight away. Straight away. That. I know it's got a, a great big head going on. Um, it's a bit of a shame to be honest. I might grab another glass quickly. Be a bit quieter with the pour. But actually even being quite quiet with the pour, it's still creating quite a big head. That's as calm as you would ever be able to pour a beer. Okay. So, beer in the glass. Very carbonated beer. Uh, a one to two finger tan coloured head. Jack Black beer. Let's smell them oysters. Oh, and that's more like it from a stout. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I just reviewed a stout before this. And it was, oh, it was, they called itself a chocolate malt porter. And it was bloody awful. Absolutely awful. This is more like it. This is more like the stouts and the, the porters that you should be drinking. You should be really getting into. Pardon me. Certain dryness to it. You get a certain saltiness to it from the sea salt. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, vanilla. Slightly vinous. Yes, smells very good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ah, yeah. It's a good stout. It's a good stout. Probably a little bit too carbonated for my liking. That carbonation you've seen where, you know, it filled up that glass of beer. You can see the carbonation there rolling up the side of that glass. It is quite lively. I prefer my stouts to be a little bit calmer with the carbonation and have a little bit more body. I like them big creamy stouts. But then again, it is quite creamy. It has got a nice, a nice mouthfeel to it. I think the carbonation just lifts it a little bit too much. Flavor-wise, it's resin, it's kind of vinous and raisiny. A little bit of vanilla coming through. Your, your obvious roasted malt, your, your chocolate, your coffee, your caramel, then bitter flavours come through. It's nice. It's a nice beer. It's a beer for a cold winter's nice. Probably right there on the uh, the oyster mouth down there in the mumbles the, the oyster mouth I can imagine the rain battering the window of the pub the fire roaring away at the side and looking out at the coast at the sea crashing in with a nice kind of warming stout in your hand I've got a great imagination haven't I when it comes to beer but that's what I would put this beer I got a funny feeling this is bottle conditioned. Uh, just by the way the beer is carbonated. Let's have a look. Let's have a close look. See if there's any bits and pieces floating around. Yes. Yes, there is. It's definitely a bottle conditioned beer. You can jet. Ah, there we go. 
you can just see the sediment there. Fine, fine sediment. It's not big shopping bags and shopping trolleys floating around in your glass. No tyres in there. It, it's fine speckles of, of yeast. I'm going to go ahead and rate the beer now. For me, I'm going to take a mark away for the carbonation. I think the beer was just, the fact that I had to get two glasses out and, and, and it was a bit lively and, and it was a bit kind of, it was very carbonated on the palate. You couldn't enjoy that that big mouthfeel that, that the beer wanted to offer. It was just too carbonated. It was just kind of, the beer was just fizzing around too much in the mouth to be able to enjoy the full effect of that mouthfeel. Other than that, really nice stout. You're not gonna get the taste of the oysters, to be honest. It's brewed with oysters, but you're not gonna get the taste of that. It, it's, unless you kind of, yeah. pardon me, unless it's actually in the beer and you know, when you swallow it down. But they're all filtered out. They're not putting the fermenter vessel, I promise you. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's a it's a classic stout other than the, the high levels of carbonation. Vanilla, chocolate, coffee, caramel, vinous qualities. I probably would have given it an 8 out of 10 if it wasn't too carbonated, but I think I want to give it a 7. It's a 7 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Cheers.